So hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek and I want to talk to you guys about something that's uh, something maybe controversial, but not really. I don't know. I, I kind of want to put it out there for you guys. That way you know where I'm coming from. So I was taking a look at my video, uh, my, my channel, and I am currently setting at 3,923 public watch hours. Now, there's four, quali four qualifications you have to have before you're able to become a YouTube partner slash uh, be able to monetize your videos. And I'm on the last one, and that's where we need to hit the 4,000. Now, you're probably thinking, man, why, why are we talking about monetization? Monetization can be important. I just want to say that. You know, it can be important. We're not going to make a lot of money from this. We're, we're just not. I mean, we, we can monetize things, but there's going to be things I'm not going to monetize just because how I feel, this, feel about them. Um, let's take, for instance, um, if we would have done that about mental health video, I wouldn't have monetized that. I would not have. Because uh, there's things that you want to tell people that are very important. And another thing is when we're talking about monetization, let me give you kind of a brief history here. So I started on Twitch a long time ago. And I had an option if people wanted to donate, they could donate straight to my PayPal account. Now you're, you're probably thinking, hi, oh, here we go. Here we go. There's the money thing. Okay. <laughs> Just hang on, hang on. Don't don't turn off the video just yet. So I have never in the history of my channel tried to beg for money. Now there was a time, maybe 2016, 2000, maybe 2016, 2017, where I had some problems and I almost e begged and it was embarrassing. And I can tell you guys, you guys already heard most of this story, and I am embarrassed by it, but you know, it's something I'll never repeat again. So let's get on track. So we're going to start streaming here soon. And, you know, we'll be doing mainly gaming and actually, and actually try to talk with other peoples within the community when it comes in regards to, you know, going against bullies, pop culture, um, stuff like that. Something that's, you know, I want it to be kind of a hodgepodge of stuff that you guys would like and other people would like. Um, I want. I kind of want it to be like a one size fits all kind of thing. You come here, there's always going to be something possibly that you would enjoy. Now I know my biggest uh, biggest thing right now is the sweetie stuff, and that's slowly going downhill. We, we see it. We see it collapsing in front of us. Um, you know, I was going to stream the actual fight that was supposed to happen, but apparently he's not coming to that, from what I can tell. Now it's going to be a big, pretty big event. You know, we all get to see Sweetie get his ass kicked. Well, I mean, we can't say it to him because he'll say he's alpha. But that was something I was looking forward to because, uh, you know, after this, like, like I said, his channel was slowly dying. You, you know, somebody pointed out the other day, I made a post on the community tab where I said, let's hit 50,000 followers. We need to beat Sweetie. Something I never completely paid attention to and they had a point. If you take a look at, say, his views compared to retention, his likes and comments, something doesn't add up. It doesn't, now, I'm not saying that all of them aren't genuine, but it doesn't make sense to have, you know, six, seven thousand views and maybe 74 likes and maybe 10 comments doesn't make a lot of sense. So, uh, you know, I'm not trying to throw shade, but I am throwing shade. But somebody pointed out on the channel, I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. You know, even with our, you know, our videos, we get, we get quite a bit. We get a lot of um, participation, rather be likes, dislikes, comments. And I think we do pretty good, um, especially how small our channel is. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting out of subject here. But one of the things that, you know, when I start streaming, I, I thought about putting this, this would help with doing some things on the channel. You know, I thought about putting my cash app on there. I thought about putting my PayPal and all that stuff on there and the super chats and whatever. Now, now, okay. 
I may have lost some of you right now. Maybe so. Maybe lost some of you. I hope not. I hope you stick with me. So gas is almost five dollars a gallon. Food is up. Everything is up. Bills are up. Everything. Rents. You name it. Never will I. Never will I beg for your support. It's there if you want to. But you need to take a look at a couple things before you decide to make any type of donations. Do you have food on the table? Do you have gas in your tank? Do you have your bills paid? Yeah, I, I'm not very good with my money. I, I Honestly, I'm not. I've never been. I, I, I was for a while, then, then I lost all kinds of money. And, you know, it's a long story. Is your kids fed? Your pets fed? You're going to be able to make it to work. You want to have money to get that spare tire, that doctor's bill. I want you to think about these things before you make any type of contributions to this channel. And I would like, I would, I would hope that other people within the community, streamers and YouTube creator, content creators, would say the same thing. Now we know how some people do. They try to make their audience feel bad for not um, donating. That's something I'm not going to announce. Like, it's there. If you want to see it, you, it will be there. I'll put it in my About section. That way, it's there. And, you know, if you guys ever want it, it's right there. You, like I said, don't feel pressured. I'm not, I'm not going to make you feel bad for not, you know, <laughs> contributing. It's not happening. It's not fucking happening. But what I will tell you, you know, if, you know, say we did get uh, donations stuff, that would help with some things with the channel. Uh, mainly, I'd like to start traveling. Um, you know, there for a while, a long time ago, you did a little bit of the traveling stuff. And I kind of want to do that here soon. You know, got a lot of stuff coming up in the pipeline. We're getting a place, getting married. Uh, hopefully next year, we're going on a cruise for our honeymoon. And... It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And I want to kind of document these things like the wedding. And I also want to document road trips, stuff like that. Just give you guys, you know, different kinds of content. We we don't want to be stuck on Sweetie. And like I said, his, his train is, it's, it's almost over. It's almost over. He's washed up, it's washed up. The only person that doesn't think he's washed up is Sweetie himself and his, his crew of, unfortunate souls feel sorry for those people but anyways you know with the streaming you know we get back into gaming stuff um talk about movies and talk about other things we'll we'll still have our things where we go after bullies we this channel is totally anti-bully anti-scam artist that's what i want to say that's what i want it to be you know, we was doing our content nukes and we was talk, calling people out for being disingenuous, ma mainly just, just bad people. And I kind of want to continue that route, kind of be like, hey, stop being an asshole. And, you know, if people watch it, people get will understand. Hopefully, when people are coming to this channel, seeing a different sp perspective with the Sweetie situation, it's the same people, they'll go to Blue Bacon um, mass hall reports and, you know, tons of different channels that are currently making content about him. Now I know it's not, not good because it still gives him some type of presence. Like he, people still see him, people still talking about him. But after, after the event that happened between mass hall report and sweetie, you notice I, I'm I, I'm thinking that people now know what he is. Okay, they know what kind of scam artist. Is. The only people that don't think that is his true minions that are just like. <laughs> but he also makes people feel bad for not donating. He totally pushes it, pushes it down your throat. Hey, donate, donate, donate. Buy a trifold. You know, even if our channel got really big and we're getting donations like all the time and we decided to start making things like stickers t-shirts and shit like that 
I'm not going to, it's going to be there. It will be right where you can see it in, in the bottom, but I'm not going to plaster it all over my videos and be like, hey, you, 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 you better not get that sandwich and you better give me that $5. No, no, you get that sandwich and you tell me to fuck off. That's what you do. That's what you need to do. Don't let anybody pressure you into making contributions to their channel. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like I said, I'll never do that. This is not happening. You know, I may mention it like, hey, there's a donation box there if you want it. Don't worry about it. Again, like I said, make sure you take care of you and your family, your pets, and yourself before you even consider donating to any streamer. I'm serious. I'm really serious, guys. I, I, I don't want any of you guys to go without something just because you decided to hand me five bucks or whatever. Like, that's money that goes in your pocket that you worked for. And I, I just want to make you guys know what this is about. This, this, this video is about monetization. And I just wanted to be transparent with you guys. That way you guys know how I feel about it. And like I said, donations are welcome, but they're not required. I will never tell you, hey, fucking do this or you're a bad person. No, 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 not happening. But that's what I wanted to say. Um, you might notice some improvements on the image, image quality of the video. I'm pretty excited about it. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you understand what I'm, where I'm coming from from this. If you do make it all the way through this video, let me know what you think. I would like to know uh exactly what you think about it um and be honest i want you to be honest with me and i'm going to be honest with you i don't want to lie to you guys there's a lot of youtubers that's going to tell they're going to lie straight through their teeth and i'm not going to be one of those i'm not going to start it and i'm not going to end with it it's just fucking not happening you guys are you guys are amazing to me so just want to let you know i'll talk to you guys soon and uh hopefully this week we'll get some more content um we may take a look at some other channels. Uh, I'm not sure yet um, what we want to do, but we're going to take a look at other channels and try to track down these bullies, these scam artists and stuff like that and have fun along the way. And I hope you guys join me. I hope, hope the community continues to grow. Um, even if you're on here bashing me and say you're going to slip me the D, that's fine too. That's flattering, I guess. But again, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.